Welcome to the CFI Member Spotlight Series on FinPod by CFI, where we highlight the inspiring career journeys of CFI community members. Let's get started with today's conversation. Hey. Welcome to the CFI podcast. I'm Sebastian Taylor, subject matter expert and instructor at CFI. I'm joined by Asim Khan, also subject matter expert and instructor at CFI. But most importantly, we have with us Onyadika Nuoji, who has completed not one, but two of CFI's certifications. Thank you, Onyadika, for being with us today. Thank you very much, Seb. It's my pleasure. I'm super excited to hear about uh, your journey through these two certifications with, with CFI, particularly that starting point that you had prior and I guess what your ambitions were um, and what made you, um, I know you mentioned in our prior chats that you you quit a previous job to actually begin this learning journey of yours. So I'm hoping to hear a little bit about uh, what made you take that decision and uh, how you found learning with CFI. All right, thank you very much, Seb. So before CFI, I was actually working in an NGO on a CDC funded HIV intervention program, working as a monitoring and evaluation analyst. So basically I was in charge of data management, data cleaning, data analysis, and data reporting just to help improve processes and make sure that there are better outcomes in the project. So I worked there for over two years. And while I was working there, I was basically using Excel, even though my Excel skills were decent, but not up to the level that I have now. So before then, I didn't know much about data analytics because if I was to discuss anything data in public, I had very little knowledge. So I knew that I needed to, you know, improve my skills. Also that I have a background in statistics, but I pretty much haven't learned the fundamentals, those concepts in data analytics. So I decided that I would really need to upskill. And that was when CFI came in for me. So I decided to quit my job, even though I didn't have any other offer anywhere else. And once I quit my job, the only job I had was to work on myself. And that was how I found CFI. And as God will have it, it was perfect timing for me. As I was quitting my job, I stumbled onto CFI. It's a, uh, a brave decision to jump, jump ship, but it sounds like you, you knew that working on yourself was, I guess, the right thing or the thing that you wanted to do at the time. Um, I think um, you mentioned previously that uh, you studied with CFI through ALX. Um, could you tell us a, a little bit about that? Okay, um, prior to joining CFI, I really, I knew a little bit about ALX. So ALX um, is like a training arm of African Leadership Group that was founded by Fred Swanika, a Ghanaian. So ALX basically, they train young Africans to gain the in-demand tech skills like software engineering, data science, DevOps, and the rest of that. So. Before I quit my job, I had a discussion with someone in my office, which was our finance and accounts officer. I told them that I really needed to know some finance and accounting knowledge as a data analyst. And she introduced me to the ALX FMVA program. And I got interested particularly because I was, I found that after the FMVA, there was also a bonus certification that was the BIDA. So I was actually going for the FMVA, but my main aim my main mission was to get the bida actually and you, you so, did you did both on yadika under the auspices of the alx yes i did the fmva first and when i was done i got right into the bida program it's awesome so you you kind of got the best of both um in working with that program i guess you got uh, both programs uh, for the benefit of our listeners fmva is our flagship program the financial modeling and valuation analyst certification and BIDA is our business intelligence and data analysis certification. So um, both comprehensive programs. Um, so I know that's a lot of work that you obviously put into the, to those two. Um, I'm interested to know specifically on the BIDA side, as I guess that's the direction you've taken since, what skills specifically did that open your eyes to? So like I said, before joining um, CFI, or well, before learning on CFI through ALX, I basically didn't know much about the fundamental concepts of data analytics. I just knew Excel to a decent level, 
So, like I said, I wasn't confident mm -hmm. enough, to, enough to engage in any data analytics con um, con conversation. So when I learned on CFI, first of all, it was more like a self-awareness moment for me because I realized that I'm a visual learner and CFI's um, courses are well created in such a way that you can literally learn without taking down notes. I almost never take down notes by just looking at the slides, the animations, I'm really getting what is being taught, the concepts, I'm getting it in a practical sense. So one of the skills I really picked up was, you know, the um, different roles in business intelligence and data science. I really never understood it until I took the BIDA program. And then I got to understand more about data transformation, especially Power Query in Excel. I never knew about that. And also Power Pivot, how to, you know, model your data. It was a whole lot to learn because I got to learn about Power BI. I got to learn about um, Tableau. I learned Python for the first time, even though I knew a little bit of SQL, but I was able to really improve my SQL skills. But most importantly, most importantly, what I'm learning on CFI took my Excel skill to a whole new level of insanity. <laughs> so mm -hmm. it was really great learning on CFI, like a whole lot of that, value packed up in that. That is program. so nice to hear. So nice to hear. Uh, Odidika, uh, that you have the two certifications for FMVA and BETA. I'm, I'm curious, is CFI still kind of in your toolbox? Do you still reference it now and then when you need help figuring something out? Sure, sure. Like I still have my slides, I have my Python notebooks and some of the exercises we, we did. Because once in a while I have to like revert back to check maybe there are some things I'm missing out. I do that once in a while. And some of the free courses, because currently my subscription has expired, some of the free courses, I do go back to them to just refresh my memory on them and just keep keep my knowledge fresh, keep my skills fresh. And I also do recommend CFI to other people. Like just yesterday, someone hit me up on Twitter and I was giving them a whole lot of, you know, valuable content they could learn on CFI. And it's just something I love to do because CFI has quality quality courses. And I'm not saying this to sell the market, but me being a beneficiary, I know what CFI has to offer. And I really want people to know that what you get from CFI is world class, period. Very kind of you to say. Um, yes, indeed. We, uh, we certainly enjoy putting the courses together very much. Um, Perhaps we can fast forward to uh, to more recently. So since taking those uh, two certifications, uh, maybe you can tell us what you're doing now. Um, I know you recently got a, a new job at the back end of last year. And perhaps you can tell us how uh, your the skills that you picked up either helped you in that interview process or are helping you on the job. So currently I work as a customer experience um, research, um, insights and research analyst at a bank in Nigeria known as Stellum Bank. So, but we normally call it um, CX for short, customer experience. So um, I actually been working there since January. And, um, you know, really my knowledge from the BIDA certification and B, um, the BIDA certification really helped me in the interview because, you know, like I said, I was not having those knowledge before CFI, but now I'm confident enough, enough to talk about what I know. So during the interview, I realized that I was very confident about discussing, like when I go into interviews, like I'm having a chat, like I'm a conversation just to learn about their business and the problems they are trying to solve. And yeah, they do try to ask me some one or two technical questions. And with the knowledge I got from CFI, I'm able to answer it very well. And I remember the last stage of the interview, I had the interview with my group head of the customer experience. And um, she actually made a comment and said that, you know, she's kind of like impressed because on my resume, on the second page, I listed a whole bunch of CFI course certificates and specializations and all of that. And she was really impressed to see that I'm someone who is dedicated to a life of um, learning. And also I did a project on Power BI, it had to do with HIV analytics. And during the interview, they asked me about it and I just told them what I did. And now I'm working at the job 
my department had actually told me that that project I did was one of the things that really got him interested in giving me that role in the insights and research. So, I mean, what I learned on CFI really, really awesome. has given me that value that I have to offer yeah. in the marketplace. Yeah, you see a lot of, um, that, that's, that's great. Yeah, you see um, a lot of people comment these days that um, not just having skills, but obviously demonstrated projects that you've worked on is, is key to getting a job in the field. Just one more question for you before we sign off. Um, I'm curious if you have any plan or ambitions as to where you want to go next with, with your data analysis or what role you're perhaps aiming for. Um, currently, aside from my job, I do a lot of training in data analysis, specifically Excel, because I like to be the person to help you know, people who are trying to transition into data analytics start their journey. And we all know that Excel is the starting point. So I'm privileged to be helping a lot of people do that. And mm -hmm. I also have a growing community. And in the future, I mean, obviously I intend to improve my skills and I also intend to do a lot of consultancy in the future and maybe lead a data analytics team and keep going on from there. But the most important thing is that I really want to impact lives with what I have gotten, the skills that I have, the knowledge that I have. I want to pass it down to people and I'm already doing that, but there's a whole lot more for me to do. So that will require me learning and improving myself more, reinventing myself more. And the sky will always be the beginning if I can continue on that line. Excellent. Love it. Well, I, I can certainly see how dedicated you are to, uh, to that continuous learning and, and you obviously have lots of ideas of where you might go. So that's great. And uh, best of luck. Um, yeah, I wish you all the best in the journey. On, on your Thank you very much. I think that's, that's probably uh, all, all we've got time for, to, for today. So uh, thank you so much for joining us. It's, uh, it, we love having learners on and being able to hear about their stories. So thank you so much, Onyedika. Thank you very much, Sebastian. And thank you, Asim. Thanks for joining us today. We hope you enjoyed the conversation. FinPod is brought to you by Corporate Finance Institute, the number one rated online provider of finance and banking training, certifications, and productivity tools.